Sweet, Jason Alexander, Little Richard, Penn and Teller. From Darlene Gray, Mimi Kennedy, and Susan Sullivan. Gilbert Gottfried. Comedian Judy Gold. Writer comedian Bruce Blank. And starring Whoopi Goldberg. With Tom Bergeron, your host, all on Hollywood Squares. And here's Tom Bergeron. Golly, thank you very much. Welcome to Casual Friday here on Hollywood Squares. Let's meet our gang of 10 this week. Hello, stars. Wrapping up a good week here. David, Officer David Schwalker is our champion. Yesterday, David, you amassed $14,726 in cash and prizes, right? Tell us about yourself again. My name is David Schwalker. I was born and raised in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I've been a police officer for the city of Los Angeles for seven years now. And I'd like to say hi to my wife, Mary, and my two great kids, Samantha and Matthew. Wonderful. All right. Well, good luck defending your championship. Here's a woman, Valerie Northington, whom when I said, are you ready to unseat the champion? She almost ripped my head off. She's so <laughs> eager. Tell us a bit about yourself, Val. Okay. I'm Valerie, and I am originally from El Paso, Texas. Ooh, I work as a librarian. Oh, killer librarian. <laughs> and in my spare time, I am a wedding and funeral singer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> When the body's laying in the coffin, you say, Ooh, you dead. <laughs> Sorry, you gone. <laughs> Ooh, okay, I want you to sing at my funeral. Okay. It's very good. Right. So you get them from, say that, from, <laughs> till death, you know. from till death do us part to you death. departed. I take exactly. care of y'all. Exactly. You gotta get three of our stars in a row. You have to decide if the answers are giving are correct or they're just making them up. That's how you get the squares. First game worth a thousand dollars. And Valerie, as you're the challenger, you get to start. Ah. Whoopi Goldberg, All please. Right. Okay, Whoopi. How's this for you, Valerie? Oh. <laughs> Ooh, I'm dead. My hands are crossed. Ask me the question. All right, well, you know, luckily it's a musical question. What's oh, cool. the name of the Glenn Campbell song about a man who shimmies up and down poles? <laughs> What's love got to do with it? That's what I, that's what I know. Um, uh, it's, I think it's uh, uh, which, Wichita Line. Which, Wichita Lineman. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> yes, yeah, so say it again, Richard. Wichita Lineman. Wichita Lineman. I'll agree. Wichita Lineman. Yes, yeah, circle gets the square. <laughs> David. Jason Alexander. Jason Alexander. All right, Jason. Based, uh, based on a recent poll, which branch of the military do more Americans feel is most effective at teaching useful job skills? Now, is interning at the White House a military branch? Well, the Navy, you tie knots. The Marines, you be all you can be. The Air Force, you fly a plane. I'm going to go with the Air Force. Air Force. I'll agree. Air Force it is. Yeah. Yes, X gets the square. <laughs> Sorry. I'd like Mimi Kennedy, please. Mimi Kennedy from Dama and Greg. Okay, Mimi. The news wires have reported a test that proves Mick Jagger now has seven what? Liver spots. <laughs> liver spots. Oh, no, 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 oh. no, 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 no. Ah, chillins. Children. Mm, I'll agree. Kids, yes, indeed. Circle gets the square. Eight. Oh, wow. I wasn't going to say anything, but I am carrying Mick's eighth child. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's a very yeah. special episode it of Hollywood Square. It is a special Square. episode. <laughs> I'm just so glad. All right, David. Bruce Valance for the block. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's what he meant when he sang Painted Black. That's there right. you go. One of Queen Elizabeth's personal servants has been demoted after being caught amusing himself by doing what to the <laughs> Queen's <laughs> pet dogs? <laughs> He holds up their ears and calls them Charles. <laughs> uh, 
Then it makes him fetch the crown jewels. <laughs> oh, ouch. I know about this. I follow English press. Oh, my uh, baby. Uh, yeah. Well, <laughs> Richard, it's, it's nothing, really. He, it's, it's not what we'd like it to be. He got them drunk. Oh. I'll agree. He got them drunk, yes. X gets the block. All right, Val. Little Richard for the block. Little Richard. Okay, for the block. Little Richard, Ricky Martin's doing it. He's living La Vida Loca. What is La Vida Loca? Oh, oh we. Oui. Uh -uh. I used to do it. Did you? I did it before he did it. He got it from me. It's really love. Love. He's, he's living love. I'll have to disagree. The crazy life is what it means in Spanish Circle gets the block. All right, David. Susan Sullivan for the block. Susan Sullivan for the diagonal block, also from Dharma and Greg. Susan. And yes, there we go. As revealed, as revealed in Cosmos, 64% of men think that there is only one chance at what, Susan? Getting caught. <laughs> Um, one chance, Cosmo, oh well, in that case, love. I'll agree. One chance at love, X gets the square, and the block, a hard-fought first game will continue right after this. Stay right there, won't you? of our first thousand dollar game and Valerie Northington killer librarian it's your turn <laughs> Judy Gold Judy Gold. The block. by the way Judy is appearing all this week at the Improv at Harris Casino in Las Vegas we are so appreciative you've been making I've been going back and forth all I week. know it's I'm just, a little exhausted I can imagine but you look good Judy. thank you thank yeah you. girl what uh, what unusual thing causes more than 100 traffic accidents each year in Anchorage Alaska Eskimos talking on their cell phones. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, I know this, polar bears crossing the road. Polar bears crossing the road. That's good. I'll agree. Moose. 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 Yes, we can't give you this one, David. You have to earn it yourself. Judy Gold for the win. Judy for the win. All right, Judy. He is... He is seeing ghosts. His girlfriend goes crazy, and the title character wants to kill himself because his mother has married his uncle. What is this? The South. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, affiliates. All right, let's see. Um, Oedipus Rex. I'll agree. Hamlet. Circle gets the square. You're still in this one, Val. And tell her. MGM Grand Las Vegas, September 30th through October 4th. Oh, we sure are. Give it to him. We will, guys. sir. We Comedians will. have been using this gag item for years. The Loftus Novelty Supply Company in Salt Lake City is the only U.S. manufacturer of them. What are they? Never mind all that. Okay. Pick a card. <laughs> Just tell me when to stop. Tell me when to stop. Uh, I'll tell you when to stop. Stop. Any time. Okay, go. Right there. Okay, there's the card it is. All right, looks like... There's the card. You sure don't say it oh, aloud, sorry. stupid. Oh, sorry. Of course not. All right. There it is right there. We've got it. And now I will give it one shuffle, and it will appear miraculously in the air. Watch this. And... Okay. Uh, wait a second. Tell us. Could you help me out here? And... Is this your card? The three of clubs. That's so the three of clubs. Okay. Very now you ask me what comedian thing there was there. Only, we have, only place you can get it. We have a mnemonic device sitting right below us. Yes. A very good mnemonic device. It is the whoopee cushion. Ooh, we There's the whoopee cushion. cushion. Ooh, we a cow. I'll agree. You <laughs> fool! You <laughs> fool! <laughs> the rubber, I'm lying to you. Rubber chicken is the rubber what it chicken. is. Yes. Yes. Chicken. Look at me, I'm a liar! <laughs> Look at me! <laughs> Uh, Skippy, Valium, level three. Got that. Right away. Gilbert Gottfried. Gilbert Gottfried. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. For a five-square win.
Gilbert, Playgirl Magazine's clinical sexologist says, I, I think we should be able to talk about sex the way we talk about what? Soft boiled eggs, because they don't take under three minutes. In three minutes? <laughs> no, I know this one because I pose for Playgirl. <laughs> you don't actually see anything because my thumb was in the way. <laughs> I'm going to say food. I'll disagree. Food. All right. Now, now here's what happens in a case like this. We could have a five square win that you could pull off, Valerie, by picking uh, the only square left. But we'll have to wait and find out how you do right after this. Stay there. To maybe the longest first thousand dollar game we've ever had. Valerie going for a five square win here. Where are you going? Gilbert got wow, for the what a win. Surprise. Okay. <laughs> Gilbert, in a in a poll, 94% of Hungarians compared to only 46% of Americans said doing this was necessary to feel fulfilled. Doing what? Seeing Wayne Newton live. <laughs> <laughs> Child. I disagree. You fool! <laughs> having, having a child is correct, oh, David. Oh my <laughs> David? Gilbert Godfrey. Gilbert Godfrey. You're so cool. All right, Gilbert. He loved it. Here we go. When she, this happened first season, too, didn't it? Yeah. When she heard that Phileas Fogg had done it in 80 days, journalist Nellie Bly beat him by doing it in 72 days. Mm. What did she do? Get through to the cable company. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know this. Trust me. Trust me. Uh, this is rowing the Atlantic. I'm going to agree. You fool! <laughs> <laughs> she went around the world in 72 days. If you're just tuning in, welcome to the Gilbert Gottfried Show. <laughs> It's, uh, it's French designer named it the atom because of its small size and the explosive effect a woman would have when she wore it. Today, it's better known as... It's in my pants! <laughs> but your thumb's covering it. Yeah. In fact, it's covering it right now! Oh, boy. The tube top! I agree! You fool! <laughs> It's the bikini, so David, back to you. Let me go for you. <laughs> Gilbert, what significance does 1908 have if you were a Chicago Cubs fan? Uh, that's the year you were in Chicago. <laughs> okay, it's the last perfect pitch game. I'm gonna agree. You, you fool! Series, so <laughs> Valerie, we're gonna take a commercial break. <laughs> and we'll be right back with more of the Gilbert Godfrey Welcome back to Biography's Tribute to Gilbert Gottfried. <laughs>
Valerie, your turn. Gilbert Godfrey for yeah. the win. For the win. Yes. Yes. Oh. All right, you Gilbert. Steve Austin. Steve Austin is a big, bad professional wrestler fully known as... Tubby. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know this one. Because yeah. I used to wrestle with Steve <laughs> oh. Austin. Oh. The Crusher. The Crusher. I'll agree. You fool! Officer Dave, <laughs> Gilbert Godfrey for the win. Gilbert Godfrey for the win. Uh, by the way, if we run out of time during this or any other game, we're all going out for drinks. <laughs> the, the, word, the word smog comes from what two words? Uh, smelly fog. <laughs> No, it's smoke and fog. Smoke and fog. I'm gonna agree. Smoke and fog! By the way, even though we never got to a secret square game today, we'll carry the intended prize over to tomorrow's show. Valerie, we're going to give fool! you. <laughs> Valerie, this was an incredible half hour. We're going to give you $500 in psychological counseling. Thank you. <laughs> At our expense. Nice to meet you. Officer Dave, you got $1,000. You uh, successfully defended your championship. Okay. Let's go right to the bonus prize now. Each of our stars have one. They, they, they total over $100,000 in things like these. There's a Mardi Gras extravaganza worth over $7,200 and a check for $10,000. All right. Or you could even win a car. Yeah. The Chrysler Sebring Convertible V6 engine performance handling and honest-to-goodness back seat and a double-sealed roof for all-year driving. Chrysler, engineered to be great cars. This sporty convertible is worth $27,535. Pick a star and get the uh, final question right. Bruce Blanche. <laughs> Bruce, what are we playing for? $10,000. $10,000. And a transcript of today's show. You fool! <laughs> the rockumentary Hail, Hail, Rock and Roll was a tribute to which rock and roll pioneer, Bruce? Bill Haley, Chuck Berry, or Jerry Lee Lewis? Chuck Berry. Sorry, Richard. For $10,000. I'll agree. Chuck Berry, yes! you got 10 grand. <laughs> By the way, Whoopi had a car in her square, in her okay. envelope. Oh, added to what you already won this day, oh, you've got $11,000. Yeah. And added to your previous winnings, $25,726 yeah. in cash and prizes. And you come back tomorrow yes. to defend it again. On behalf of all of our stars who've witnessed the strangest show we ever did, I'm Tom Bergeron. See you on Monday on Hollywood Square.